Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Glazer. I was one of the founding members of the MSIDT program. Dr. Gotro, our program director, asked us if we would be interested in moving our IDT program to open resource. This meant that all faculty would need to buy in and that we would not be able to use the textbooks we had been using, but instead would need to adopt articles, other text, and other resources. This sounded great since it would save money for our students, so I said yes. All faculty in the IDT program were invited to attend a two-day training offered by our university on open resources. The training included definition and benefits of OER, what resources we had available to us on campus, who to contact for assistance as we transitioned our courses, and places to find the resources on the web. We also learned about Creative Commons licensing for materials that we created, and how to make materials accessible for students with disabilities. At the end of each day, time was provided for faculty to discuss the initiative and plan for implementation. Once the training was over, it was up to us to begin to transition our courses by replacing our textbooks with open resources. This proved to be a bit of a challenge. The textbook that had been used in the course I was teaching, Research Methods for Instructional Design, was a hardback book by a well-known publisher that also provided PowerPoints, slides, quizzes, and other materials. This text was first adopted when the program began in 2002 and had never been changed, so it was very integral to the course itself. The search for an equivalent text that was freely available and also contained similar topics and content was not easy. Finally, one was found in the CSUF Library eBook collection. There were several disadvantages to this text, but also many advantages that made it appealing. Disadvantages were that the free text did not include the additional materials, the quizzes and PowerPoints, and topics were presented in a different order than the current text. That meant that the entire course had to be rewritten with new lectures, quizzes, activities, and the syllabus and the LMS had to be restructured to offer topics in a different sequence. This process was extremely time consuming. However, having to adapt to a new book encouraged me to refresh the course. I chose to create soft chalk lessons about each chapter and topic and embedded my own materials and quizzes that supported each chapter. The new text had more emphasis on writing and the process of research, which is more appropriate to our program. When the new text was implemented and the semester began, students expressed their appreciation, actually joy, at not having to buy a traditional text and seemed to really enjoy the new course content sequence and especially the emphasis on writing about research. So all in all, it was a success.